Jesus Christ will never not be relevant. I mean, this man has 2 billion followers worldwide, and just the mention of his name alone has the ability to provide healing or stir up a lot of controversy. In this case, it stirred up a lot of controversy, especially after what this Jewish rabbi revealed about the true nature of the Messiah before he passed. The reason why Jesus' name will always be relevant is because uh, this was literally God that came down from heaven in the form of a man. So it makes sense why <laughs> his name is so popular. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Israel's most famous rabbi shocked the world after revealing that the Messiah is Jesus Christ. Yitzhak Kaduri was one of the most respected rabbis within the Jewish community. For his wisdom on the Torah, as well as his knowledge for the occultic practice known as the Kabbalah. Many people in Israel even took him as a prophet considering he had an ability to predict future events. Not to mention this rabbi even had his own disciples. He was even contacted by many powerful celebrities who wanted information about his occultic knowledge on the Jewish mysticism practice known as the Kabbalah. Even Madonna, who's a high-ranking witch, tried to hit him up one time to gain knowledge about the Kabbalah, but he rejected her because she wasn't Jewish and he wasn't trying to teach non-Jews about Kabbalah. In simpler terms, he basically curbed her. Now, I'm not glorifying Kabbalah in any way because Kabbalah is a witchcraft practice that's rooted in Jewish culture. But I'm merely saying this to paint an understanding of who this man was. He was not only very popular in Israel, but around the world, and he was on many people's radar, including celebrities themselves. In fact, once he died, he had several hundred thousand people attend his funeral, which was recorded as Israel's biggest funeral in history. Before he passed away in 2006, he wrote a note and instructed people not to open it until a year after his passing. Passing. This note contained the name of the Messiah, which he claimed God revealed to him in a vision a year prior. In this vision, God also instructed him that the Messiah was coming soon. When this note was finally opened, it shocked many around the world. When referring to the Messiah, he wrote, He will raise the people and confirm that his word and law are standing. This I have signed in the month of mercy, Yitzhak Kaduri. The rabbi wrote this specifically due to the letter being an acrostic, which is a well-known Kabbalistic coding where the first letter of every word spells out a hidden message. Rabbi Kaduri's acrostic letter spelled the name Yehoshua, which is the Hebrew name for Jesus. When the Jewish scholars decoded the acrostic message in the letter, it sparked massive controversy because they knew he was revealing that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Soon, many of Kaduri's Orthodox Jewish disciples converted to Christianity and started doing deep studies on the New Testament. However, other Jews were deeply upset about this note that he left and soon removed the note off of the website that they built for him in an attempt to suppress this news so other Jews would not seek Jesus. Jesus. I believe Rabbi Kaduri knew that this would be the outcome, which is why he strategically told people not to open the note for a whole year so the evidence wouldn't be destroyed when they immediately opened it. I also believe that he chose to write the Messiah's name in this encrypted way, so only the smartest Jewish scholars that knew how to decode acrostics would understand that he was talking about the Messiah being Jesus Christ. Now when we go back to the note that the rabbi left about the nature of the Messiah, we can clearly see that it correlates to what Jesus said in the scriptures. When it says that he will raise the people and confirm that his word and law are standing, these were the words from Jesus himself in the New Testament. In John 6 40, Jesus says, For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. Jesus also says in Matthew 5 17 to 18, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Jesus Jesus' words are merely identical to the nature of the Messiah that God revealed to the rabbi. And I don't even think the rabbi read the New Testament where Jesus said this because Jews are not allowed to read that considered blasphemy. Not only did the note say that the Messiah, Jesus, is coming soon, but you can look at the world and see the signs all around us. People are dressing up as animals now, identifying as dogs and cats. That doesn't show you that the Messiah is coming soon. <laughs> I don't know what does. But seriously, Jesus is coming soon. The rabbi knew it, we know it, and so does the kingdom of God as well as the kingdom of darkness. Everybody knows it. I'm telling you, his return is very near and we need to seek wisdom because when you get to the end of the tunnel of wisdom, there Jesus Christ is waiting for you. We need to stop living 
living in deception and waiting for a savior when the savior already came down 2,000 years ago on this earth and fulfilled all the Old Testament prophecies and clearly proved that he was who he said he was considering that he defeated death and rose from the grave. And yes, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, is coming. He's coming again, but this time he's going to come to judge the world. He's no longer going to be the lamb, but he's going to be the lion of Judah. And you want to be on his good side and experience his love while you still have time because you don't want to be on the side of judgment. It doesn't matter if you're a good person, if you're a moral person. If you haven't given your life to Jesus, you're on the other side. You're with the world, no matter how good of a person you may be. Now is the time to really seek Christ, guys. Don't play games with your eternal soul. God continues to make himself known through all of these different people who you wouldn't think would be Christian. But here they are telling you the same thing that the Holy Bible is also telling you. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, it starts with the simple realization that your works will not get you to heaven. Your own righteousness is not going to get you to heaven. We are separated from God due to sin. But God came down in a human vessel, Jesus Christ, lived a sinless life, and took the penalty that we deserve for our sin and rebellion against God. The penalty was completely lashed out on him on the cross. And then he died, resurrected on the third day, and defeated death, and was raised to new life so we could be raised to new life and we could be in perfect standing with God through his sacrifice, through his perfect life, if we just put our faith in him. It's very simple. People make it complicated, but it's not that complicated. Once you put your faith in him, once you repent of your sins, which means turn away from your sins and ask him to forgive you of your sins, now you have to pick up your cross and you have to walk as he walked. I'm not saying you're going to get it 100% perfect all the time, but the Bible also says you will know someone by their fruit. You will know that someone is a follower of Christ with the way that they behave, with the way that they act. Because when you read the Bible, when you read the word of God, it transforms your mind and it allows you to walk in freedom as well as displaying a character and a nature in which you didn't display before you came to Christ. I'm telling you, as someone who did not grow up a Christian, who never went to church, didn't know any of these church terms like repent or sin, Jesus is real. This is the correct way to God. You may be like, well, buddy, there's thousands of religions out there. Are you saying that yours is the correct one? Yes, I am because there's only one empty tomb. I don't say that to be smug. Just do the research, okay? Like, there's countless testimonies. Just do the research if you're skeptical. Use critical thinking. You'll end up believing in Jesus. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you believe that Jesus is the Messiah, I want you to comment down below, Christ is the Messiah. If you guys want to financially sow into this ministry, I have an offering link that you can click in the description. And I also have merch that you can also buy in the description. Also, if you haven't seen my latest Christian music video, click the eye icon in the top corner of the screen, and it'll take you there. Receiving my crown. I'm running the race. And I'm not going down They wondering how I six slaying giants I'm in it right now Remember when Christ got a hold of me Now he used me globally He disarmed these demons so openly To hate easy holds the key I'll see you guys very soon for another video I love you guys so much May God bless all of you In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Take care and peace out There's only one worthy to sit on the throne Can't wait till he calls me to get out this world And I'll finally be on my own You see I'm a menace to hell I'm aware that my name is extremely well known The Lord and his angels are always around me I know that I'm never alone Walking with God, yeah, my sin's been atoned Better not play around with me Could Jesus Christ call me and maybe his own Had to repent on my knees For things in the past I no longer condone The Spirit be giving me peace Always be walking around with Shalom The work of the cross was a mercy show So I'm gonna be 